Hello everyone, Steve with Newegg TV here, and today's video is an overview on two form factors of Samsung's 850 EVO SSD. The M.2 and the M SATA versions both using Samsung's 3D TLC VNAND, and in this case utilize the new 32 cell layered version as opposed to the older 24 layer version. Thanks to Samsung's 3D VNAND, both drives offer better capacities in smaller form factors, as well as excellent power savings and performance. They both grant 25% better power efficiency over the older 840 EVO SSD. That's thanks to 3D VNAND's inherent ability to use 50% less energy than Planner 2D NAND or Standard NAND. According to Samsung, performance-wise, they are both able to push 540 megabytes per second on sequential reads. The M.2 version, however, has slightly faster writes at 520 megabytes per second versus the M SATA version at 500 even. At QDEP 1, 4 kilobyte random reads, Samsung states they hit a max of 10,000 IOPS or input-output operations per second, as well as 40,000 IOPS on the random writes. Jumping to QDEP 32, both controllers breathe a little more and give us slightly different numbers. The M.2 drive pulls 97K on random reads via all capacities. The 250GB, 500GB, and 1TB M SATA drives pull 97K IOPS, while the 120GB model pulls 95K IOPS. They also say the M.2 drive pushes 89K on random writes, and the M SATA version pushes 88,000 regardless of the capacity. Now, let's take a closer look at those drives. All right, guys, so let's start off with the 850 EVO M.2 form factor of this drive. So as you can see, it is very small. In fact, it, it measures in at the 80 millimeter length. So make sure that your, your board, whichever one you're using it in, whether it be a laptop or a motherboard on your desktop system, can actually hold that capacity or that length, I should say. Uh, speaking of capacities, though, this particular version actually comes in three different types. This one is the 250 gigabyte. They also have the 120 gigabyte as well as the 500 gigabyte version. Uh, the interface here being SATA 6 gigabit per second, obviously being backwards compatible with the prior versions as well. Uh, it is using the MGX Samsung controller. I believe that's a dual core controller. Uh, the NAND flash memory I mentioned already, but it is the Samsung 32 layer 3D TLC VNAND. Uh, they're also utilizing 512 megabytes of LPDDR3. That's probably going to help out with uh, TurboWrite technology in order to get that uh, 540 megabyte per second sequential reads. Also, five year limited warranty or 75 terabytes written limited warranty. And on to the M SATA form factor version of the 850 EVO. Uh, in terms of capacities, this particular model is the 250 gigabyte version. They also come in 120 as well as 500 and the largest one terabyte version uh, that is available here for the 850 SSD on M SATA form factor. So moving right along, the interface is a SATA 6 gigabit per second interface. Um, it, it does have the MGX controller along with its two brothers, the 120 and the 500 gigabyte models. If you end up purchasing the one terabyte model, you're gonna get Samsung's MEX controller, which is a three core controller if I'm not mistaken. Uh, on top of that, it does utilize uh, DRAM cache memory, 512 megabytes for this model, as well as the 120 gigabyte version and the 500 gigabyte version, uh, that is LPDDR3, 512 megabytes. And if you end up going with the one terabyte version, you're gonna get a gigabyte of LPDDR2 uh, memory. Uh, once again, this is utilizing Samsung's 32 layer 3D VNAND, and it does have a limited warranty of five years or 75 terabytes written. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching this Samsung 850 Evo video with me, Steve from Newegg TV. If you liked it, don't forget to click the like button. And until next time, we will see you guys in the next video.